For sure. Hey, Gordon, before you, before you get up from the microphone, you're, you're wonderful and you're serious words, but this guy does the best impersonation of Porter Wagner that anybody has. <laughs> if Porter were here today, what would he say right now, Gordon? This portion of the uh, video is brought to you by the Cracker Barrel, a little country store. And uh, I just love them. Wonderful. I love Jean Shepard, too, T. She's fantastic. <laughs> I, I always said, Jean and I, when we was at the Ryman Auditorium, from time to time, we would share a dressing room. And we would. And, uh, and I, I had my, my little piano man asked me one time, said, I'd love to meet Jean Shepard. And I told him, I said, well, you'll know when she's coming because you'll hear glass breaking and then you'll hear Jean Shepard. <laughs> because she talks. When she talks, she just, it's... She's the loudest talker ever in the whole world. <laughs> Porter loved you, though, Gene. She, he thought you were so funny. He asked me to come up and tell you that one time, and I said, I will not do it. I will not do it. But Porter loved all you guys, and it's, we miss him very much. There's not a day that goes by that somebody doesn't ask me a question about Porter. Uh, Bill, you, I, I'll tell you one quick Porter story, and I think I've told you this story before, but the first night I ever met you um, was the night that I played the Opry with Porter for the first time. We were at the Ryman, and that day I was so excited, that whole week leading up to it, I was so excited about playing the Opry with Porter that I forgot to get my wife and my mom tickets for the show. And so Saturday morning, I'm panicked because mom's in town, and she's expecting to go sit at the Ryman. And the tickets are all sold out. I get on the phone, there are no tickets. So I called Porter and I said, Porter, I have messed up. And I told him what I'd done. He said, let me call you back in about uh, 30 minutes or so. <laughs> I'll see if I can get you some tickets. So he calls me back in about 30 minutes and he said, I got you four tickets. That's what you needed? And I said, Hoss, you are awesome. How in the world did you get four tickets for a sold out show? He said, oh, it was easy. I just called him up, said, hello, this Porter Wagner, and I need four tickets for the uh, show tonight. And the lady on the uh, telephone there said, said, Mr. Wagner, wish I could help you, but we don't have uh, no more tickets at all. And I said, you mean you don't have any tickets for sale or nothing? The woman said, No. I said, you mean if the President of the United States was to call you up and say he needed four tickets, you'd tell him you didn't have no more? She said, well, if the President was to call, I imagine we could find some tickets. I said, well, he ain't coming. Give me his four. <laughs> Gordon Moe, you're terrific. <laughs>